One of the great challenges the United Nations faces is that um, these human rights officers, the people writing the report, aren't able to get in the country. And so they have to do interviews remotely. They have to speak to victims, people who fled the country. They have to call into the country. And that's just the nature of human rights reporting in a place where the government keeps you out. Uh, but in our assessment, the report is incredibly uh, valuable. It's detailed uh, and it's credible. And it also corroborates it's findings that we at my organization, Human Rights Watch, have made um, as early as uh, 2017 in the context of the crackdown and our ongoing research since then. One of the greatest difficulties in Venezuela is that there's a huge impunity gap. No one is being held accountable for these crimes that we were just talking about. Um, and there is no prospect for a credible prosecution. This is exactly the reason, I think, that the International Criminal Court, which is based in The Hague, has opened up a preliminary examination. They started in February, and they're evaluating whether they would want to move forward. One of the biggest issues they're going to look at is an assessment like what the UN has found, that there isn't a credible opportunity for justice at home, and that's why Venezuelan victims would need to go abroad.